I'm Tamar, and this is the first in what is going to probably be a very occasional series on actual practical skills brought to you by Starving Off the Land. Today, we're going to do how to clean a crab. This is a Jonah crab. It's a very large Jonah crab. And he and eight of his friends were cavorting on Cape Cod Bay this morning, but we pulled them up in our lobster pots and they have given their lives for our lunch. We boiled them for about nine minutes in a big pot um, and then ran cold water over them to start to stop the cooking. Now comes the time consuming part, which is cleaning them. The first thing you do is take off the claws, both the two big claws in the front and the smaller claws on the sides. Now I have two different methods for cleaning the two different kinds of, cl of uh, claws. You need three things, a nutcracker, a nut pick, and a tweezer. You can use the same ones you tweeze your eyebrows with, that's what these are, just clean them afterwards. For the big claws, you need the nutcracker. And I go all the, all the way along the claw and break it. Now, Jonah crabs have very brittle shells and they crack quite easily. Once you crack them, if you break them open carefully, sometimes the meat comes right off. Now there are, there's cartilage in most of these, so you have to work the meat off the cartilage. And these are gonna be some of the biggest lumps that you'll see. A lot of what you're gonna end up with is shreds. So if you break it as carefully as you can, Reveal the meat. And take the meat out. The nut pick is useful for this. And I just put the meat in the shell bowl. I guarantee you that will happen to you. Push out the knuckle meat from one side to the other. The meat comes right out. Now for the the big part of the claw, open it until it breaks, until it snaps, and then there'll be a piece of meat that may or may not stay in the claw. You can pull that out, and then there's meat that's stuck to pieces of cartilage, and you have to just do it with your fingers because it's the only way to get the meat off the cartilage. And then get rid of any shards. And there's one of your biggest pieces of meat in the big part of the claw. But again, it's, it, it can fool you because there's a big piece of cartilage in the middle. So you have to take it off. And it does break apart when you do that. There's no way around it. That's how you do the big claws. Now, the little claws, there's a different system. This thigh is really the only piece of usable meat in these legs. So break it right before the thigh. Sometimes meat comes out on, on the other end, sometimes it doesn't. And just gently crack this piece until you can break it. And you'll see there's one nice piece of meat right there. Now there is other meat in here and it does tend to come out if you crack it at the next joint well, it didn't this time. But sometimes that's the cook's prerogative. You get to suck the little parts out of there. So that takes care of the big claw and the little claws. But don't throw away the body because there's a lot of meat in there. But what you don't want to do is open the body up because there's lots of little tiny cartilage, little thin walls in there. And once you break them, it's hopeless to try and get them out of the meat. So if you've still got the knuckle in the crab body, what you want to do is put your nut pick in and level, lever it forward. Come on, you. Come on. And if you do it that way, it stays intact. Sometimes the meat comes out with it, sometimes it doesn't. In this case, it didn't. And now here's where your tweezers come in because there are little cavities that are filled with meat, but it's very hard to get them out with a nut pick. You really have to be able to grasp them and pull them out, and that's not a good demonstration. But if we look in here, there's a ton of meat, and you stick the tweezers right in, 
and pull the meat out with the tweezers. And you repeat that with every leg and you'll find that you'll get almost as much meat out of the body as you do out of the claws if you clean them thoroughly. Once you get good at this, cleaning a whole crab will take you somewhere on the order of 10 to 15 minutes. It's not going to give you a lot of meat. A big Jonah crab like this is only going to give you a couple of ounces. But if you've got a big plate of them, you've got a nice lunch. And that is how you clean a crab.